Metallic strip. Bimetallic strip is made of two different metals, iron and brass, attached to each other. Working. Take two metals which expand differently, such as brass and iron, join them together one over the other, and then heat it. After some time, it bends with brass on outside of curves. Outside curve is longer than inside curve. This shows that brass expand more than the iron. Use this unequal expansion helps us in many ways in our daily life. By metallic strips are used in many devices, such as thermometer, thermostat, and a fire alarm. Bimetallic thermometer. It consists of a bimetallic strip in the form of long spiral. One end of the spiral is kept fixed while other end is attached with a light pointer. Working. When temperature rises, the bimetallic strip coils itself into an even tighter spiral due to different expansion rates of the two metals and pointer moves across the temperature scales. Thermostat. Thermostat is a device which controls temperature in a certain appliance for example in refrigerator, electric oven and electric iron ETC, to maintain the temperature. Construction. It consists of a bimetallic strip, temperature setting knobs and two contact switches. Working. Suppose thermostat is connected to an electric room heater. When the temperature of room rises by metallic strip bends and its contact breaks an electric circuit will be off. Hence after some time when the temperature will fall the contact will be made again an electric circuit will be on and temperature of the room will start rising again in case of electric iron the above system is used such as fire alarm. It is a device used to signal a warning about fire. Construction it consists of bimetallic strip, battery and bulb or bell. Working. In fire the circuit is off so there is no question of ringing of the bell or fire alarm. But due to fire the bimetallic strip will bend towards the contact. Because brass is outside one expands more as compared with iron one contact will be made the circuit will be on and current will start passing the bulb therefore lights up or in case of bell or fire alarm will be rings to signal warning about fire. Thermal expansion of liquids. Liquids expand on heating the increase in volumetric expansion of liquids on heating is called thermal expansion. Real and apparent expansion. When a liquid contained in a vessel and heated, not only the liquid expands but the volume of the vessel also increases the observed increase in the volume of a liquid is apparent expansion to determine the real expansion. The expansion of the containing vessel should also be considered. Real expansion equals apparent expansion plus expansion of containing vessel experiment. 1. Fill a round bottom flask fully with colored water to fit it with a cork, through which a long narrow tube is passed. The water rises up the tube to a height marked A3. Heat the by Bunsen burner. Observation. The water level first falls somewhat below A to B and then rises up beyond A to C. Conclusion. The increase in volume of the water first equals the expansion in the volume of the flask and then rises beyond A from which it first fell. This shows that the expansion of the water is greater than that of the flask. The volume of the water between A and C is the apparent expansion while that between B and C is a measure of real expansion water. Anomalous expansion of water. There are in the volume of water as its temperature is lowered from 4 centigrade to 0 centigrade is known as the anomalous expansion of water. Experiment to show anomalous expansion of water procedure. Arrange the apparatuses above shown in the figure and note the meniscus of the water in a tube. Take the readings of the thermometers at regular intervals. Observation. As water cools the water meniscus falls till the thermometer shows 4 centigrade the water expands and it rises up and its temperature gradually falls to 0 centigrade while that of the lower one remains 4 centigrade. Conclusion. Water expands when its temperature is lowered from 4 centigrade to 0 centigrade. Examples of anomalous expansion of water. Useful effect. In those areas where temperature falls to zero centigrade or below in winter, 
The water must freeze and the marine life must be affected but due to this irregular behavior. This doesn't happen because when temperature falls to 4 centigrade the water goes on becoming denser and dense water goes down to keep the temperature uniform but when temperature falls below 4 centigrade due to expansion, density of water decreases and it becomes difficult for it goes down hence the temperature of the surface only falls to 0 centigrade and changes to ice and below it water will remain at 4 centigrade and marine life will not suffer at all. Harmful effect. One during raining season water enters into the cracks of the rocks but in winter when temperature falls to 0 centigrade this water expands and rocks are broken up to. In cities where temperature falls to zero centigrade the water distribution system through the pipes gets damaged due to expansion of water at low temperature.